at 10 tonight, keeping the city safe after midnight. That's the goal of new guidance aimed at businesses that has its last call close to dawn. WDRB's Conroy Deleuze joins us live from Whiskey Row with a look at recommendations that could be coming for hundreds of businesses. Conroy? This 18 page document is just as this page indicates. It's a draft, but first this push for late night public safety needs the approval of Metro Council. A string of late night incidents on Bardstown Road in 2021 pushed Cassie Chambers Armstrong into action. We all got together and said, what can we do to learn from each other and learn from other cities? She says bar owners throughout her district join in on town halls to figure out how to protect customers, bartenders and people on the street. And it's really important as we head into summertime that we as the elected body of Metro government uh, show that we are committed to public safety and committed to addressing our late night safety issues. The ordinance before Metro Council's Public Safety Committee would require Louisville Ford to put forth guidance detailing best practices in promoting public safety at businesses that serve alcohol past midnight. There's a focus on security, one guard for every 50 customers, and a staff train on de-escalation of conflicts, checking IDs, managing the line inside and outside, and preventing sexual assault. There's a lot more in the 18-page draft, but a few more highlights include lighting, free phone charging stations, having machines that can maintain data for up to a month, and looking after customers. The owner of Baxter's 942 says he basically agrees with the plan, but had some comments, including the sheer cost of maintaining security footage, then added that he would like to learn more on sexual assault training classes and pointed out that their bartenders are responsibly trained. But before this plan can be sent out to every late night business across the city, the ordinance had to pass through committee. I'm going to stick with my norm of not suggesting a particular department to mandate or require that they do something. I think this is such a common sense one and the department that would be asked to do it is actually in favor and has been working on the project. Ultimately, it did go through with a three to two vote, moving now on to the full council. And if this ordinance does pass the full council, then Louisville Ford will have 90 days to write a final document and then send it out to bars and businesses across the city that stay open after midnight. Now, this is just guidance and recommendations. It's not rules and regulations, but Chambers Armstrong says this could help keep the city safe late at night. Live in downtown Louisville, Conroy Deluche, WDRB News.